Hello, I'm Roger Gillespie here with Professor Henry Allen, who teaches wellness in South Campus and was part of Literary Feast 2009. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Uh, I see here that you are doing research for pedometers, is that correct? Yes, we look at uh, physical activity and research, particularly among college students. We need to know where are we before we can move forward. We need to know how active are the college students before we suggest health education programs. So we do have that in place with our wellness programs, which is part of the graduation requirement. So my research was to add pedometers to the existing wellness programs and see what the results would be. Interesting. And what are different aspects that you teach in wellness? The main thing, the first thing when students think about taking a wellness course, they think about physical activity. And they think about, well, it's all about doing sit-ups, doing jumping jacks, uh, jogging, or what have you. What they forget are the six aspects of wellness for overall wellness, which involves social wellness, intellectual wellness, ac you know, academic activities, and just keeping ourselves uh, stress-free and everything overall for total, total wellness. Of course, the physical activity is important, but so are other aspects of wellness. Of course. Um, could you maybe elaborate on social wellness? Social wellness, what we find is that some people tend to be introverts or they, they stay to themselves. But social wellness becomes important, if, whether it's being part of a school club, outside activities, and that becomes more important in that how's our family relationships, how's our stress levels. And also with social wellness is people getting out in the community and maybe they say, you know, if they're not feeling well, they can talk to other people and say, well, maybe that's something you need to get looked at. And also with social wellness, it leads to the relationships they build out and helps them with their mental health as well. Of course. Um, how has your research been helping your classes? The research is very good because what we wanted to find out with the research was how active are our students. So we added pedometers again to the curriculum was the name of the research. And so what we did is we took two groups of students. We had one that used pedometers for a 10-week program and groups of students that didn't. The pedometer being just a, a simple step counter which the students would wear, the security strap. And what the students were asked to do is wear the pedometer for one week, and each day they would write down the number of daily steps and then reset the pedometer every morning. What they would do is write down these steps, and at the end of the week, they would turn it back in. Because what we, the first thing we wanted to find out is how active are our students. So what was the result? The result was quite interesting that when we started out, we wanted to find out, is there research has been done to say, well, according to how many steps per day you take equates to body mass index to the obesity level. And so our students, we found out, took approximately 6,500 steps per day at the beginning of the study. So 6,500 steps per day is slightly overweight, which is what we found during the standard calculations for height and weight gave us a body mass index. We found that to be true compared to other, other, college, other colleges and also as a nation. And so what we did with one group, they got the pedometers every day so what they would do is take the pedometer, and they would say, OK, how many steps did I take last week? And add 3% to 5% over the next week's steps. And so the pedometer was just a feedback tool. So they write down their steps every day. And at the end of the week, they turn in the step count through a website. And so this was good because it helped the student not only as a physical activity course to be more active, the pedometer saying, OK, how many steps did I take today? Well, maybe I didn't increase over last week's, but I can start again tomorrow. And that's what's important because a lot of people see fitness or when they look at dieting, they see it as an all or nothing. They say, well, I didn't meet my goals, therefore I didn't succeed. But with something like a pedometer or a walking program, I'm just gonna try harder tomorrow. And that proved to be quite effective. The students that had the pedometers, each week they were asked to self-select a goal, three to 5% over the previous week, and they just kept doing that. So the idea was to complete the log and to increase their steps. So over the course of 10 weeks, the students that had the pedometers actually increased their steps by 29%. So we added this to the wellness curriculum. Of course, in the wellness program, we tell them about strength training, physical activity, flexibility, and other things like cardiovascular health. And what I find very important is nutrition is how to read a food label. Because students see, they have this information, but they've never been shown how to read a food label, how much sugar is there in the foods that they're given, and maybe even sharing with their children. And what was more significant was not only did the students with pedometers increase their step count by 29%, we had another group of students in four wellness classes who were given pedometers at the beginning, and then I gave them back to them 10 weeks later. 
given the same information that they're told they have to eat right, exercise, and be more active, their steps actually decreased by 16 percent. All right. So even though they were told these are things you need to do, they did not have the reinforcement of the pedometer. So in that case, the pedometer was shown to be an effective tool. All right. Well, thank you for your time, and hopefully you can come back next year. Oh, thank you so much.